Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, this tutorial was, uh, well, I was supposed to do this long, long time ago. But I wanted to show you a, a style of closing two panels, put them together, like if you do a granny square, for example. And I'm working here on a vest. You know. So this is how it's going to look, the, the closing. This is the front. And this is the back, so it's going to look like this on the back. It's not that bad for a even a uh, putting together a granny square or whatever you have you're working on. Well, this is not about the, the vest or how to do a vest. Yeah. Like uh, on this, this is like a mini short vest, for example, it's just above, under your... Um, a rib cage so it's gonna look like like this the finished product when you close it's like that mm. and this is the the back how it's gonna look okay now for this what you're gonna do whatever panels you have to to put them together granny square whatever vest sweaters tank taps but I will have to say for example for this vest when I close the sides I close it with a slip stitch both panels I didn't do the way I'm gonna show you yeah so this is how it's gonna look when I it looks like this after I finished closing with a slip stitch yeah just simple slip stitch this one it's a it's also slip stitch but it's a little bit different yeah but if you are to do this on the sides of the the tank top or the the sweater or whatever you do uh, keep in mind that the way i'm going to show you how to do it th might be a little bit large so if you want that to be on your waist line or on your body uh, don't do it don't close the sides uh, the way I'm gonna show you. Yeah. Okay. Now well, for this we have the the, the edges, you know, the corners. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn it like this. And then, whatever yarn you're gonna use, whatever crochet number you're gonna use, you're gonna do a knot. Let me put this a little bit closer. Okay. So you're gonna do the knot the way you like. Or you feel comfortable. Hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna take these corners. Well, those of you that you're advanced, you kind of know this thing. But for you guys, the beginners. So we're gonna take the corners. And we're gonna put into the, the corner right here. Hmm. And we're gonna take the other panel. The other side of the material that you have, you put together. Hmm. And you're gonna pull through the both panels mm. Boy, it's getting caught in there so you're gonna do like a single crochet mm. and this is the only time that you're gonna do a single crochet let's say so now what are we gonna do we're gonna move to the next stitch that's why it's good when you do the panels or whatever you do to work when you chain and you do the the first row to work the back of the chain into the bump you're gonna have the stitches right there very nice so we're gonna move to the next stitch and I'm gonna pull up a loop and then we're gonna do a slip stitch then we're gonna go to the next panel and we're going to go to the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then do a slip stitch. And now you're going to go to this panel, the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then do a slip stitch. And then you're going to go to the next stitch from the other panel, and you're going to work like this. Slip stitch. So you see this is the, the last stitch that we worked, so we're going to move to the next one from this panel I'm gonna do a slip stitch then you go to this panel you go to the next stitch 
and this is how you well this is one of the style so the last stitch was here that we worked I'm gonna go into the next one just make sure that you do that because sometimes with this style this method you might uh, skip a stitch and you move to the next panel the other panel you pull up a loop and you do like this slip stitch only so the last stitch was here that we worked and we move to the next one pull up a loop and then do a slip stitch and then we take the other panel next stitch and we do a slip stitch so the next stitch is here pull up a loop do a slip stitch so you go to the next panel do the next stitch do a slip stitch and so on you're gonna work in each panel at a time one stitch at a time you go to the other panel slip stitch you see you kind of have to open like this to make sure because if you keep it like this you think the next one is here when it's right here the next one and you're gonna do like this and then you go to the next panel it's a very easy method and it closes really well well I wanted to show you how it looks now since we worked so we closed only this much let's see how it looks it's gonna look like this so if you like this you can uh, do this method well the I'm gonna do only the front part with this orange color the back part the back uh, side I'm gonna do it with white so this is gonna be the the front yeah. so if I am to, to turn this one like this it's gonna be like that I don't know if you can see it's really nice goes uh, goes fast and this is the will have a little bit a ridge somewhat a little bit a ridge not as much you see this ridge is not as uh, well really accentuated like um, like on the side like here this is you can see the the ridge with a slip stitch you poke in one stitch and the next panel both ch both panel you take together and do a slip stitch that way you're gonna have this uh, this ridge really you're gonna see it yeah and I think with this uh, this method it's a little bit nicer and the ridge is not so uh, big like this. it's really really fast goes really fast this one well for a vest this this one well, I'm sure some of you you're gonna ask me uh, these are I made this is like one panel one panel it's long let's say I don't know I think I made it 90 or a meter a meter uh, long so it's a long panel then you take the panel and flip it like this in half and then you close the sides and I left here for the arms opening and because we have the, the stitches right here because I worked in the, the back of the, the chain into the bump you can um, see the, the stitches very well you can count them so whatever stitch you're gonna use you're gonna have on the sleeve here on the shoulder you're gonna have the stitches and you put whatever stitch pattern you like to do yeah so that's gonna be much easier and you can attach your sleeves here if you want you just go with a with a sleeve yeah, yeah it's a very easy uh, method to close I'm sure many of you you know about this uh, method so this is it looks how it after I close it hmm. you can uh, well you can see it a little bit and uh, this is on the back it's not so um, big like this one this is the side and you can see the the bump the ridge yeah. well if you 
want you can try this uh, this method and if you want for example here when you have the <coughs> at the bottom like uh, like here you see it's like this you're gonna have to do depends now what kind of stitch you want you're gonna have to put around you go around 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 with one single crochet if you want single crochet and then you do either like this I did just single crochet for this vest as you can see I put in each I put one two single crochets in each space in here two single crochets and I worked with a different crochet hook than this work, the panel, because I wanted to to give me on the how you say on the waistline. But if you want, like these are two long panels. But if you want to do this, for example, and it's just like a vest, you without doing this, because if you worked like how I did now with two long panels like you make a scarf and then you put in half the the the, the panel you're not going to have a waistline here you cannot yeah you know. then you're going to do the the back panel and make sure that you know exactly how many chains you have on the back uh, panel because you're going to do then two small panels for the front so the the back panel the chains you're going to divide them in half and each front panel should have that half of the back number chain yeah the back panel and then you can close it here for the whatever sleeves you're going to leave opening and then you're going to go with this method and you're going to go up to close the the front or you're just going to leave it open the vest depends yeah so this is, it looks like uh, like this. Let me turn it. But when you close this with this method, for example, for a it, no matter what you do, make sure that you work on the back side. Yeah, where you, for example, in here for the sides I close. So when I did this closing, I did it of course on the back uh, side, not uh, on the front. Because if you are to close with this on the front, you're gonna have exactly this style this style you're gonna have in uh, in front the the front you know face of the material the way you're gonna put it on you whatever you do yeah just keep in mind especially if the stitch is not reversible <coughs> well this uh, this stitch I have uh, I have it on my uh, on my channel nutty or uh, not nutty uh, I have it on Scorpio Rising crochet, so this is the the stitch. But it's not about the stitch. I just wanted to show you the method how you close this uh, this time. Okay, I think I talked too much, and it's time to close this tutorial. <laughs> okay, well, try this method and see if you like. If you don't, well, you I'm sure there are many many methods out there to to close. Yeah. To put two panels together whatever you do so it looks like uh, like this okay well thank you for watching have a good day bye bye